All right, I'm in Smithfield today um, in an older house, house built in like 1942 or something like that. It's pretty common. A lot of these ones that are closer like the, to the downtown areas of like, you know, Smithfield, Zebulon, and these little towns will have um, some of these kind of older houses. Um, and we check these quite a bit. They're kind of popular to fix these up and sell them. Now this particular house, we've got a few problems. Um, first, the moisture's a bit high. Uh, there's no plastic on the ground. I would say, first of all, it needs a vapor barrier to get started. That should bring the moisture down, you know, a lot lower than it is right now. Um, but it's, it's a, these, some of these are tough. A lot of times, these never really get fully treated because they're so hard. There's areas of this crawl space in order to get to everything. We're gonna end up, if we do the treatment, we're gonna end up having to do some digging to get past some areas. And that's uh, that uh, makes it a lot harder. But now this particular house though, has an issue with powder post beetles. And um, we don't run into these like this a whole lot. Um, in, in any of the older houses, we'll see evidence is of them and that's normal. Uh, the older houses will have them all the time, uh, but it's rare that we'll get a good active one where they're active all over the place. And uh, what the, basically what platypus beetles do is they're little beetles. They lay eggs in, in wood, mostly bare, unfinished wood. That's why they're usually in the crawl space where nothing's been painted. They lay eggs in there, usually on the surface, right below the surface, and then larvae hatch. The larvae begin eating the wood, and then as it goes through its life cycle, when it becomes an adult, it eventually exits out of the wood. It makes these little holes. And those holes are, are the evidence that we'll usually find. And they basically, they reduce the wood to like a powder, almost like a, like a flower, all-purpose flower, almost what the wood's like after they're done with it. And how you can tell they're active is, okay, if you look at this piece of wood, you can see the streaming. Like there's uh, sawdust is streaming down from these little holes. And when you see the sawdust like that, it looks like nice, fresh fresh that tells you that these powder post beetles are active. And this particular place, they're all over there. They're on every single one of the floor joists, just all over the place. And um, so this is a pretty good infestation of powder post beetles. Um, treating these is not, it, it, the only hard thing about treating these guys is getting to everywhere in this crawl space. Now, luckily this one, being this older house, is not insulated. Um, now that's actually good for us for doing a treatment like this, because then we don't have to move the insulation. So what we need to do is we'll have to get a product. We, there's several that we use, but we'll get one of the products that's labeled for powder post beetles. And we gotta come up underneath here and we gotta go to every single one of these floor joists and spray them all down. Um, most of the chemicals will tell you to spray to the point of wetness. So that means uh, getting a fan sprayer and, and just spraying down every piece of wood. Now that means you gotta get on both sides. You know, you gotta really get, so you gotta get to every part of this crawl space which in this case will take some digging because there's some that's that's blocked up there. Um, but that's kind of what it takes. And I know a lot of people, uh, termites is what everybody knows about and hears about all the time with our inspections. Uh, but this is one of the other uh, wood destroying insects that we look for in every inspection. And um, so it's good to every now and then see what they look like, see exactly what they do, the kind of damage we're looking for, the kind of evidence we're looking for. This right here is the support girder. As you can see, see how the, the dust is piled up on, on top of the um, the little uh, ledger or whatever that is right there, the support girder? That stuff's just been piling up there. And uh, so this is a good infestation and um, nothing that can't be handled. But if you've ever seen powder post beetles on a wood destroying insect report, this is what we're talking about.